Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm always a little bit over my head on this, but I think I've got this down. Uh, I've had several people over the last couple of days ask me how to get these macros from Eskimo into your Corel Draw. So go to the bottom of the page where the macro is. It's a zip file, and just double click on it, and it's gonna come up with this. And then click on this, which is the GMS file, and go to download. And then it comes up right here, and it's already unzipped. Then the easiest way for me to do things is to open up another Windows and go to your C drive, go to program files, No, go to program files on this one. Go to Corel, pick your latest version, 20. Then go to draw, and then there's your GMS file. So if you'll just take this and just drag it over into this file. Now I've already got it, so it won't let me do it, but that's where it is. I find it, now that it's on there, I actually find it easier to be able to do this by taking it and putting it onto a thumb drive, which has smaller area, and it's already done it. If you don't put in the GMS file, someday it won't be there. And then just open up Corel Draw. Let me get rid of this picture. And you need to go to Tools, Macros or Scripts. If you have, I don't know when it started, but it's, it's you either have Macros or Scripts and go to Macros. And then right here, Load. And then if you'll go to that thumb drive, and there it is right there, and hit Open. There it is right there. Uh, let me see where it is. Adjust Objects. Yeah, this is it right here. And then the JQ, and then it's always gonna be start. So let's leave that open for a second. Let's, let's draw a couple of squares and let's start adjust object. So we're gonna make this thing, well, it's not a font. It's a, we're gonna scale it. No, we're not gonna scale it. We're going to size it. Okay, that is at 4.1 4 through two inches. So we're gonna make it three from the center, and it made it three from the center, or we can make it three from the bottom left, and there's a video on that, but that's how I do it. Now it's, it's in your GMS folder, so it'll stay here, but it's easier to, for me to find it when I'm loading it from here to put it on a thumb drive, because then you can find it. And I don't have all of his on this uh, up here because of the fact that this is 2020 and I just started doing it. But that's how I do it. There's actually a, a video out there by Mr. Brewer, Roy Brewer, that I'm gonna leave a link to. So if you didn't quite understand mine, he goes into it in much more detail and he knows much more about it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.